You are here with Press Pass LA, and we are on the red carpet. It is the season two finale of The Voice. They just announced the winner. It is Team Blake, Jermaine Paul. Let's see who's coming down the carpet. It's the final two here tonight. Yes. You said it was like a dream come true. Yes. What's up next for you? Where, where do you think we're going to see you next? Touring with CeeLo, possibly, or out in Vegas with him? Hopefully. I mean, that would be amazing. I mean, I want to work with CeeLo. I want to make music with him. I want to make an album. I want to tour. I, this is just the beginning. And what was one of your biggest challenges on this show? Getting here, you kid. I mean, every every time you walked out on that stage, it was it was war, it was battle. I mean, and the, the biggest challenge is that you become really good friends with all of these people, and so it it's, becomes a very weird kind of like, oh my gosh, I love you, but right now, don't. <laughs> like it's it's just, it's so strange. So that's a battle in itself. Um, I mean, just getting here top four, this is insane. What was going through your mind when you were waiting for them to make that final announcement of who would be the voice, which is the two of you standing up there? Um, what was going through my mind, I was just proud. I was happy to have gotten that far. That's, I couldn't have hoped or wished for anything more. Congratulations. I had something you know, from a, a few years ago, actually, that I haven't listened to in a while. It just reminded me of her, and I'm like, if we bring it back and, and kind of like, you know, Revisit it. I'm like, this could work for her, and apparently everybody's loving it because they, they see the connection. And so, I had the song, but I didn't have Juliet. I mean, okay. now I have a muse. So we're here with Tony Luca at the finale. You know, it was a heartbreaking night a little bit, but you did fantastic all season. What do you think we can expect from you next after this? Uh, just getting back to work. You know, um, I, I was fortunately one of the contestants who had a larger body of work and a career in motion that's basically been on pause since this whole process began and I'm just stoked to get back to work you know, back getting in. back into the studio getting back on the road getting reacquainted with my fans and meeting the new fans yeah. what an amazing opportunity this has been what were some of your you know most challenging moments or one of your favorite moments or toughest performances that you recall from the season yeah you know I mean I wouldn't have entered this process if I wasn't you know obviously willing to open myself to criticism and 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 uh, you know input from the coaches that's what that's how it works you know um, but early on taking some you know some more harsher constructive criticism was was kind of tough to, to swallow at first but uh, you know it didn't take long to realize that that's that's why I'm here you know and it was sort of a, a, a blessing uh, more than a blessing because I, I feel like you know I came into this with with the uh, the hopes of getting more exposure um, but, I'd say that was achieved <laughs> yeah you know but what I what I leave with now is <laughs> you know, a, a whole new direction, a whole new like creative awakening that uh, I certainly wouldn't have found anywhere else, you know, and uh, I couldn't be more grateful. Carson, you've gotten to know the families, you know, throughout the season. Um, did you predict any of these finalists being here at the, at the end episode? I didn't make any predictions at all. I really didn't. I, I had no idea. I, I mean, there were so many good people, like, I had no clue. Do you have any favorite moments from the season? I have a lot. I mean, when Adley Stump's mother jumped in my arms unexpectedly, that was fun. Um, I don't know. My, I'll get back to you tomorrow morning. What do you enjoy uh, most about getting to host the show? Just having the job. I really love the show. I love like everything about it. Honestly, it feels like the perfect show for me. The live elements and the talent level. Okay. Thank you so much. We're here with Chris Mann. Tell us how it feels to be the final contestant on Christina's team and be standing there in the final four tonight. Yeah, it felt. It was a good feeling. I felt really good. I'm, just, I'm glad and relieved that it's over. <laughs> it's time to conclude season two. <laughs> but. Uh, Total pleasure, uh, dream come true. This has been a blessing beyond description. And what was it like working with Christina, and what did you learn about yourself as an artist? Man, I could write a book just on what I learned about from her. You know, I had fun. Like that's one thing that I've realized the last couple of days is how much fun I was having. Uh, not only just singing on the stage, like what in a beautiful stage and beautiful music, but getting to sing with some across from somebody like Christina on one of the best songs ever, The Prayer. As a person and as an artist, she encouraged me from day one to be myself and to use my voice that was for my blind audition my sort of big fear that was clearly was holding me back for all these years because as soon as I committed on the show uh, the world opened up to me so I'm very indebted to her and what were the relationships like that you made with other contestants they were great so much so that I was like almost happier for Jermaine winning than myself <laughs> I was like my best friend on the show and we were roommates and uh, I happened to accidentally sort of see the results after my name had been read. I sort of saw the other names on the list. So you were standing up there trying not to freak out? I did, but I was freaking out because I knew that he won. I was so happy. 
And what do we have coming up? I hear you have a, a single coming out soon. I do yeah, it's called Roads, and it's about the journey that you know I've been on, and we all go on to sort of get where we're going. And it's a beautiful, inspirational song, and uh, I can't wait for it to come out. And so, ideally, where do you go from here? What's next for you? Well, up, you know, or down. I've been climbing up for 11 years, and maybe it can sort of coast. For, I don't, you know, I don't uh, think so. <laughs> make a new, make a new record and join. You know, I'm very inspired by Josh Groban and Michael Bublé, and that's always been my dream to sort of be the third to the trifecta. So I hope to uh, sort of make a record and and have the support. And so, last question: If you're passing the torch to the next group of people coming on, what is your advice for them? How do they get to the final four? The, I mean, the only way to be in top four is to be unique, and the only way to be unique is if you're yourself. And that it was a lesson I almost, I'm glad I learned it because it, I wouldn't be here if I hadn't. Well, congratulations. We enjoyed watching you this Thank season. You. Thank I you so much. It. Thanks. Jermaine Paul, you are the voice. Team Blake, what was it like standing up there with final two waiting to hear your oh, name? Oh, man. Uh, such a nerve wracking experience. Um, in a good way, uh, when it's a good outcome, of course. <laughs> um, I was definitely. Um, you know, uh, up there praying, like a like a uh, an old mother at the church. You know, <laughs> uh, I'm just happy that things um, turned out the way they did. And America voted for me and and kept me around and 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 got me the title. And now, last year, Blake took his final contestant on tour. Do you think that you might go on tour with Blake, or what's next for you? You know, um, I'm not sure of what's going to happen. I I know I I can't wait to put out some music. Um, I'm overflowing with music and 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 and, and songs uh, that I've created throughout the years and I just would like the opportunity to put it out and uh, and and give America uh, some good songs so I know you're a popular man so last question uh, you guys were an interesting matchup R&B country style did you know going in that you would pick Blake as your coach and in that case also what did you learn from your experience with him yeah my wife and my daughter they kind of told me that I should pick Blake smart women yeah, very smart women. Um, and uh, I was kind of on the fence. And then at that moment, um, at the blinds, uh, I, knew I, I knew I had to pick him uh, because he was just down to earth, just a what you see is what you get kind of guy. And that's, that's the way I am. And, um, yeah, he's a good guy. And I'm glad I went with him and the best coach ever. Well, I got you here, and we look forward to seeing what's next for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Hey, I'm Jermaine Paul, the winner of The Voice. And you're at Press Pass LA. Thanks for joining Press Pass LA on the season finale of The Voice. We got to speak with host Carson Daly and the four finalists, including tonight's winner, Jermaine Paul.